Today we'll be reviewing the Q-Pen from King Ice. Uh, we're gonna do this outside today. It's uh, It's been really windy, really cold and dusty and rainy in my neck of the woods. It's just been just been all around nasty for like two weeks, man. So, so I came outside, it's so beautiful today. I had to hit the hills, had to hit the lake. Uh, me and my dog were out here running around today, but I brought brought some jewelry with me to review, so we'll, we'll do that here. But just wanted y'all to see how it looks in my neck of the woods. Very beautiful today. So yeah, let's get this started. I'm just sitting out here in the grass. Hope the sun's good. Um, this is the Q pendant from King Ice. This is part of their letters collection. They have quite a few different letters you can get. Like that old English. They had uh, like the bubble letters, just some regular kind of font. You know, they have have a different uh, nice uh nice variety you could choose from but this one's the, the q pendant and uh no affiliations to the to the conspiracy group um just my own my own my own reasons it has nothing to do with no conspiracies but um as you can see it's very nice chain uh, it is gold plated micro paved i don't have the exact dimensions i apologize but um but yeah you can see right there and i, and I hope i uh, hope you can see it good hope the light's hitting it good so, so yeah you get a close look there check it out it looks pretty good and we'll start with the 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 bale here you can see it has the, the king ice logo this is pretty much the king ice logo they have the, the roaring lion with the crown on the top and it looks really good you know a lot of if you uh shop from king ice you know this is their logo they, they put out jewelry like this and i actually have a silver pendant that's like this and it, it's like a lion's head on a shield and it actually looks pretty cool so uh, let me focus in there and you can see it's the lion's head it has the the crown on it i got some bees flying around me but yeah it looks really good he's got the roaring mouth he looks real mad looks real aggressive looks good and you can see the bail the hole really small that's um three or four millimeters i believe and that is a franco chain this isn't the chain that came with it y'all know how that goes i'm going to show you the actual chain that came with it and you can see how it looks and like i said it is windy i know my gloves are a little dirty i apologize but we're in the outdoors today baby that's how it goes just show you my dog real quick he's over there across the way uh pitbull and you can see right here we'll get down to the queue and, and it looks good the pendants look or the the diamonds excuse me they look really good they're they're laid out evenly um it is 14 karat gold plating. You can see the back, the back, a little scraping. It's a little scratched up, like I said, some older videos. Um, this is just, this is common. This is how it's going to be. Anybody that owns plated jewelry, this is very common. There's nothing you could do about it. But, you know, like I've told you before, too, you know, I, I wear my stuff. I wear it out. So, and that's the purpose of this. We got to test this plated jewelry and see how, how durable it is and how long it could last. And, uh, yeah, you can see right there. Take a good look. You can see all the scrapes and little scuffs look. and the plating looks okay let me add that i do like the plating something about the front plating though something about it it seems like it's make off color i don't know if it's just because there's so many diamonds and that the diamonds aren't colored they're clear and that the gold plating can you know you can barely really see it you know it's just it's just all diamonds and um, I don't know, to me, it, it just, it looks a little off. I, I'm just saying, to me, I, I wish they would have added some more of the gold plated accents, like on some of the other pieces that I posted before that, that help it pop out more. And mostly just to match the bale. I mean, you see this bale and it's got this, this bold look to it, you know, real mean, aggressive look. And, and the cue's just real kind of easy going to me. It's real kind of, uh, you know, kind of simple look. It, it's real plain. It, like I said, it doesn't have anything on it that really matches you know like this the boldness of the of the bale and like i said if they would have just added some of that gold uh trim on it extra 14 karat uh plating on the edges just to kind of highlight the accents i think it would have looked much much better but like i said it's still a nice pendant i've had it for i think three years now I think i've had this one for three years and it still looks good it looks great um, but this is an honest review and, that, and that's me speaking honestly. I wish they would have just, you know, put a little bit more onto this, um, especially to help the look of the diamonds, you know, but the Q looks great. You know, if you're a fan of Old English, um, it looks good. You know, I like it. I like the way the Old English looks. It looks really good. This is this guy. Look at this guy. He comes over here and steps all over the jewelry, steps all over the display. Look at him. The only place I have the jewelry in all this area out here, he can run around. <laughs> Look at him. Walks all over the display. 
and this is a PVD, uh, one of those PVD chains from King Ice. It's not supposed to fade out. And uh, this is a 24 inch one that I bought. And uh, it's, I've had it for almost a year. I bought a few of them. And this is another one that I bought. Uh, there are some other ones that I featured in different videos. And this is one that I haven't featured yet. And you can see it, it still looks really good. It's, gl it's glistening and it's in the sun. It, it held its shine, it looks good. And I, I think this is King Eyes' way of kind of solving the chain problem. Because let me show you something real quick. This is the chain that it came with. And this is a 24 inch uh, Franco as well, excuse me. And you can see, look at that. It, it was 14 karat gold plating as well. And it, it faded terribly, look at that it's almost silver you know i mean it, when you look at that that's how it's supposed to look but that that's how it that's how it ended up coming out like i said i've owned this for three years but this chain started fading immediately just like some of the other pieces i had within a month or two months of wearing it it faded and discolored and thank god it never did that to my skin uh none of these chains have ever uh discolored my skin or anything so that's really good um i do have a bracelet from king ice that discolored my skin and i will get to that one in the future but um as far as these chains like i said thank god none of them have discolored my my skin or anything um that would be awful uh but yeah it looks terrible and uh and yeah like i said i had to buy one of these ones to see um how long it's gonna last so the review of these chains will be coming in the future and I did want to keep this one short today, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I didn't want to let you get a good look at it again. You know, I, I try. I like to do close-ups on it. I hope you guys like that. Um, I know when I'm looking at reviews on, on YouTube, I, I like to get close-ups. I like to get a good detailed review. Uh, but I just want to do detailed reviews. And um, But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like. We'll be doing more reviews on jewelry in the future. Please subscribe for more. Uh, stay tuned. And I'll be letting you guys know here pretty soon on what our next piece will be that we'll be reviewing. Hope you enjoy it again, everyone. Have a great day. I'll give you another look at this beautiful view that I have. It's beautiful out here today.